back right now. Put the rest in the bowl for the other for the other squirrels. A little dale sauce. There we go. All right, it's time for the squirrel stew. Squirrel stew, like any other stew, meat, vegetables, simmered in a pot for just a few hours. First thing I'm gonna do, cut up a potato. I like to leave the skin on my potatoes, my preference. I don't mind eating it. Especially, uh, that's supposed to be where all the vitamins are too, so. Tell that to my wife. She hates skin on the potatoes. Then cut up a couple of carrots. Some of these I don't really need to cut. Cut them just a little bit. Chop up an onion, part of an onion. Don't need the whole thing. celery. There you have it. We'll make a nice bed for our squirrels. Put all that in a little pot. Alright, I got a couple of couple of strips of bacon here. Kind of chop this up some. going to add a little bit of this bacon, this hot skillet, fry it up just a little bit. Okay, got the bacon cooked a little bit, I'm going to add it to the pot, some of that bacon grease in there. Excellent. Alright, these little squirrels have been on that Dale sauce for a few hours. Place them in the pan just a little bit. We're going to brown this meat just a little bit. This is a lot of meat for one person. I'm going to have to call Mike and Ryan up tell them to come over and help me eat this. I right, never mind. My wife will help me. I'll get her over here. All right. Got squirrels in there. Now we're going to just brown them on the outside just for a little bit. This is really a lot of squirrel. We got three of these. And uh, I'm the only one that's going to be eating the stew, I guess. So, it's going to be real hearty. A lot of meat in this stew. Who ever thought three squirrels would make that much meat? Now for this recipe, I'm not going to add any salt to it. The Dell's seasoning has enough salt into it to soak into the meat to give it all the salt flavor that you need. All right, now that our little squirrels are browned enough, it's time to add them to the pot. Okay. Look at that. Woo. A little red wine. All right, get the little wine sauce ready. Add it to the pot. This is gonna be a stew with a lot of meat in it. A lot of meat. Okay, next I'm gonna add a can of cream of chicken soup. You can use whatever cream of you like. A little fresh cracked pepper. It's already got salt in it from the Dells. Ooh, a lot of pepper, a lot of pepper. Love the pepper. I'm gonna add about a can of water. We're gonna see, probably gonna add a can and a half. All right, and a few bay leaves. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water to that. It's not enough, just a little bit more. Now that looks a little better. Lovely. She 
now that I got the stew stewing, time to catch up on a little reading. Rick targets at three and nine o'clock. Okay, our stew's been cooking for about an hour and a half. More than enough time to cook. So I'm just going to take it off the heat, let it sit for a minute or two. Probably about 30 minutes, actually. The moment we have all been waiting for. Mmm. That meat has literally has fallen off that bone almost. That is so good. You can taste a little bit of onion, taste the celery, taste that little bay leaf, that little baby carrot. It's just right. But, the reason we're here, the whole thing about the little squirrel. <laughs> Magnifico. Who'd have known? It tastes so good. Hey, squirrel stew. Wish I had some bread to sop all this gravy up with. 